Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's episode, we're going to continue learning about guns, and actually going to get started on firing, uh, well, bullets. Sort of. Kind of. Alright, so let's go to the star pack, light, and in the light we're going to insert a script, not a local script, a script. Alright, so you guys hopefully by now can find a script in your basic objects, because you're all better than me. Not. Uh, but I always have trouble finding it, even though it's alphabetical. I just always do. Anyway. So, this script, we're actually going to name the script something so it's a little bit more organized we're gonna name it firing just like that alright so we're going to make a couple lines here that um, are pretty self-explanatory as of this point in the series like tool alright local tool equals script dot parent alright that's the tool it's the parent of the script um, and local Actually, we don't need local player. That's it. That 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 might actually be it. Or no, actually, local boolean reloading. We also need that. And we'll go. Wait, why did I put boolean? We don't need to declare types in this. Crazy BB equals false. But it is boolean. That way, you guys at least know that. All right. So tool dot activated this time. I'm going to explain this in a second. Connect function end. All right. So tool that activated actually happens when you click with the tool in your hand, meaning it's also enabled. All right. Now we're going to do a couple if checks. We're going to double check a lot of things here. But tool that activated is when you actually shoot or want to shoot alright so we're going to make uh, just a couple lines here we're gonna check if tool why do I keep playing in parentheses tool dot enabled then and alright and in here one last kind of one it's not really an if we're just going to get a variable here all right this variable is going to be char equals tool dot parent because if the tool is enabled and it's being activated you can almost guarantee that the tool will be in the player's character I'm going to demonstrate this real quick by pressing FX um, now I know we're gonna be in first person here, but I can still demonstrate this. Oh wait, no, I forgot the chart added thing does not always work. All right, so right now, if I were to go to go to the Explorer, players, player one, backpack, you see the light here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna select it, and then I'm going to press one. Oh wait, no, I have to select it down here. All right, now it's not there. My player's holding it. Where is it? It has to exist still. We see it. Well, we go to workspace, player one, and there it is. It's in player one now. And when I deactivate it, it goes back to the backpack. Activate, deact, er, sorry, enable, de disable. Enable, disable. That's what's firing every time I do this, is enable and disable. When it's back in the backpack, it disabled. Alright, well, Somewhere in here we should even... There we go. Uh, for some reason, it's still saying enabled down there. It's... It's a lot more confusing than I can explain easily. I would advise just going to the wiki or to the forum where people can explain this better than I can. I, there's just some things I don't really know how to explain, and enabled is one of them. Um... But we're going to get back to our script now. Alright, so tool is equals script up parent. Reloading equals false. So actually in here we're also going to do and not reloading. We want to make sure reloading is false. Alright, 
So whenever the tool is activated, it's connecting a function, which doesn't need any parameters. And if tool.enabled, all right, if the tool is enabled and it's not reloading, then try equals tool.parent. And since enabled can still be true, why, what the heck? Okay. We're going to put one more if here, and it's going to be if game that players am I actually eh, yeah okay just it this isn't this doesn't always happen but in this light we're also going to add an object value so there it is all right and we're gonna name this player just like that um, and in this local script we're going to set script that parent that player that value equals player all right and now back in this firing script we're gonna do if game that players get player from character char equals script that parent that player that value then that way we're sure the person who has this is the player and here you go guys go I'm gonna try to show you this but it's a long line so I'm gonna have to scroll as we go. So if game that players get player from character char equal equals script that parent that player value, then. All right. So hopefully, hopefully I've explained this sort of well. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I will catch you guys later.